last week's episode, we finally set sail for Bermuda. We caught a fish, then threw it back. The weather wasn't up to much. It was wet, windy, and the boat was rolling around. We all felt very, very ill. But this week, the sun's come out and we're almost in Bermuda. So it's our um, third day. No, it's not, it's our fourth day at sea. And um, I finally slept well last night and I've woken up to blue sky and calm seas and still about 13 knots of wind, but the motion of the boat's really comfortable, especially compared to the last few days. Um, so yeah, I think the spirits are good on, on Ruby Rose this morning. Um, we just passed one of the uh, boats that we uh, were with when we set out from the Bahamas. Um, we're motor sailing along at the moment because we are kind of racing against the clock. It's Thursday at the moment, Thursday morning. Um, we have 188 miles to go, probably a bit more. And we're wanting to get into Bermuda before Saturday because there's going to be some squally weather on Saturday. Apparently like 25 to 30 knots of wind, um, which we've already had all that and we don't really want to do it again. So we're trying to beat that weather. So I'm motor sailing at the moment. Um, yeah, all's good. I'm just happy that we've got some sunshine again. It's been like three solid days with no sun, which is not fun. And I have to admit that this passage, we've not had the weather that I hoped for. As is common with sailing, especially offshore sailing, there's always repairs to do. We had some problems with our hydro generator, some water had got into the socket, so one of us has got to hang off the back of the boat, clean and dry the socket and apply a liberal layer of Vaseline to prevent any more water from getting in. So after an hour of fun and games, tethered onto the boat of course, everything is working again and the hydro generator is coming away as good as well. Tonight, Nick, our, our last night at sea, hopefully. Oh, the Royal Jinx has kicked in again. We'll be here for one another six days now. We have chicken curry. Chicken, chicken curry. curry. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah, chicken without the curry. I know, we had chicken curry things. Is this out of a jar? Is this out of a can? No. Where'd you get the chicken from? Well, the, the chicken shop at the front of the boat, obviously. You know, it clucking all day long. Used the, the southern squat. No, I didn't use tin sugar. We've got frozen chicken in the freezer. Okay, I, I just can't believe that you actually like summoned the energy to go down the bottom of that freezer. I've also tidied up your pile in the bedroom, which is looking like some sort of tramp's warehouse. And made the bed. That's right. <laughs> well done, you. So? Right. Chicken curry and rice? Yes. Uh, that's about it, really. Can you offer any explanation for your questionable facial hair? Well, yes. I know. We've got, what, another month at sea on and off? Yeah. So 
so I figured that um, there's no time like that to try and grow a dodgy moustache. What? <laughs> I thought for your long-suffering girlfriend, obviously. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's actually quite a fetching... Uh, I want to see how long I can get it to curl up by the time we get to Portugal. God. No, 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 I want to get... Have you got any moustache, Mike? Did you bring any with you? No, I might have. I can... If, if, if it doesn't grow long enough, we'll just get some, get yes. some, do some extensions. Uh, yeah. Maybe I can put can... My, uh, my facial... I mean, my hair removing cream. You can sacrifice a little bit of... Uh... Me? Of your hair for, uh, yeah, a bit of wax, a bit of the old uh, wax handlebars. Huh? Disgusting. Do you not like it? I, I can't deny that there's a certain something. <laughs> I knew you didn't hate it. <laughs> I mean, I don't love it. You wait till it's full and bushy. <laughs> I think that I'll love it less when it's full and bushy. It, it certainly suits you in a disturbing kind of way. <laughs> Cross between Zorro and Borat. Yeah. Zorat. <laughs> Zorat. <laughs> also cures indigestion. <laughs> this might be the new look then. Yeah, maybe. So well, you like R it? Riley sports a moustache. But then everyone's going to go, you're just doing it because of Riley. Nah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I will go now. I'm actually. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is Bermuda. We've arrived at last. We've actually arrived a day early, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, it's uh, the weather is as it has been for the last week. We've had one sunny day in the whole week, which is really annoying. Um, you know, a little bit blustery, um, really grey and overcast. It's not raining at, at the moment, so that's something. But yeah, the weather's not been amazing. Um, it's quite cool. Uh, it's cooler than the Bahamas were, which I'm not complaining about. It's actually really nice. Um, and we've got another, about another 18 miles before we uh, reach the town cut. We've already uh, radioed the officials in Bermuda so they know we're on our way, we're nearly there. And um, yeah, it's exciting. Tonight we're going to actually be able to go out and have a meal on, on land and have some beers and celebrate a successful, if not particularly enjoyable passage. So, what is it? 756 nautical miles in five days. Average is six and a half knots. Pretty pleased with that. Yeah. And I know there is a reason Now we're ready to be home Yeah, ready to be home Okay, so fast forward about an hour and a half and we're all cleared in to Bermuda um, and we are doing, I don't think we've mentioned this yet actually, but we're doing the Arc Europe which is, um, if you haven't heard of it, it's a rally that uh, goes across the Atlantic from west to east um, and we are going to participate in it which we're really excited about and because we're doing the rally um, we have been assigned a um, slip, I guess. We've, we're rafted up against two other boats um, in the town dock. Ordinarily we probably would have just gone to anchor, um, but the rally organisers have arranged for us to uh, be here rafted, so um, yeah, that's that's great. We, we've got kind of um, step off the boat access to the town, uh, which is awesome. We don't have any electricity um, or anything, but you know, at least we don't have to get in our dinghy and we don't have to launch the dinghy, launch the outboard, all that kind of stuff. We can just leave those two things where they are. Um, and yeah, you know, it seems to be quite comfortable. We're in a really protected little area, so hopefully there's not going to be much surge and snatching of lines, etc. Um, Shiner 
the kind of the genius that he is he's sorting all our lines out to minimize any kind of screeching and snatching so yeah very glad to have Shana on board as always um, for these reasons and others um, so yeah we're it's yeah <laughs> we're just we're tired um, it's a grey rainy day I feel like that's the only weather we've experienced for like the last week just grey sky and, and rain um, but we're here it's Friday we're here a whole day earlier than we'd anticipated so we're really pleased with that um, so we've got up until next Wednesday the rally departs on Wednesday um, and we have whatever that is like four days to get ourselves organized so it's going to be um, pretty flat out I think we've got a lot to do um, Nick's got a list right here I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, things to fix, things to get, things to fill up, things to do. Um, and then we've just got like boring other stuff to do like laundry and provisioning and um, filling up the diesel and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, but first things first, cleaning the boat, putting it back into some kind of order, trying to uh, um, just get things organized get ourselves organized it is 3 30 they gave us some free dark and stormies which i'm pretty bloody excited about so we're going to suck into those asap and then tonight we've got a party so <laughs> i don't know how long we're going to last at the party but we're going to go and, and meet the other um, rally participants so that'll be good that'll be fun thank you so much for watching please feel free to subscribe and join us next week as Teresa, myself shiner and my dodgy moustache explore beautiful bermuda we explore the local cultures, see the sites, sample the beer and start repairing the boat for our crossing to the Azores.